In this tutorial I will show you how you can create beautiful landscapes just like this one in any season. It's completely free and very easy to set up. You can build on top of them. Let me show you how I did this. First of all, in Epic Games, your marketplace, look for landscape backgrounds and add them to your current project. Then, it is very handy to set up the camera speed to 8 because they are big landscapes. And into your content drawer, there will be a map photo or backgrounds. Now there are different maps that are pre-made, just like this one that I'm showing you right now. There is a desert, a canyon, and this is the snow showcase, snowy. So you can see there are background meshes and there is a landscape plane. And on this landscape plane, you can work with. Now what I'm going to do is set up a player start. So or else you see I'm falling from the sky. So create, and then you're going to find the player start, drag it in. You can hit F to just focus, and that way you get started right in the middle of to your map. Now, you can also build on top of this, because they have pretty neat meshes. So back to that map. They, you can also work on the materials and download the pre-made maps and textures, but the meshes are also very beautiful. It also comes with trees. And let's look here in winter, because I'm in a winter landscape. There are different mountains. Let's look at mountain A and for example, I grab the first one and drag it inside of my level. Okay, it is that easy. So let's say I want a very big mountain here on this side. Let's just drag this around. By the way, I like to disable snapping for this example. Okay, and let's scale it up really big. And you can do this by the way. Because this is just in the back and you won't be going there as a player. At least that is intending for me as a background more of. For example, something like this. Drag it in a bit. And Alt-E to drag this one out. Maybe rotate it to have some variation. And maybe now when I hit play, you can see that the mountain right there because I looked around now, and the mountain right there is the big mountain. And you can really increase this as much as you want. For example, scale this out a bit, scale this entirely. Maybe this one a bit taller to really see the effect taking place. And now you can see a very big mountain right there in the background, and these ones are more lower. What I also like to do is just have a look here at the post processing because the lens flare effect is very big. So look here at post process volume and then look up here in the details for the lens flare. See the lens flare right there. The intensity, I can decrease the intensity and the threshold. You can see you make it even bigger or smaller like that. And I like it more like that. But you can also create this on a landscape of your own. Now here back in my starter map, I added some landscape. You can do this easily by going to landscape and then adding the landscape right there and hit create. I already did this, but you can do this easily. Then what I also did is go to content, pixel bridge, and there you can look for snow assets. For example, this is a material and this is also an ice cliff that you can use. So let's add this into my map. You can do this by selecting your landscape and then go to landscape material and look for the trampled snow that we just downloaded and let the shaders compile for a while. If you notice that your snow is tiling, you can also adjust this, go to here to the material instance, double click on this one, let's drag it off, then click the tiling offset, open this one up and let's change this to something more like 0.1 for example, 0.1 on the Y also and this already looks better. Hit save and then Okay, this looks way better. And now you can also drag in the mountains that we used earlier so you can build your own landscape. So for example, go back here to the backgrounds. We need meshes this time. We are in the winter right now. And you can use the different ones, but we used this before. Okay, by the way, really zoom out a bit. And then you need to drag this out a bit more. Put it more to the bottom. And now when I hit play, especially when I'm here on my snow, then you can see the mountain in the background and you can create backgrounds just like this in any season. Very easy. Thank you.